Welcome back to the studio. Today, let's try out animating in CaliPeg, an animation software for iPads, but also coming to Android. Here we have the CaliPeg beta. So far, it seems like this is a full featured animation software in a lightweight package that you can run on your Android tablet. Thank you to CaliPeg for sponsoring this video. Opening up CaliPeg, we get this screen right here. I'm so excited to use this app today. So here we have the studio page. You're gonna have all your animations uh, listed in a gallery type view. You can mark them as a work in progress to do, retake, or okay. So I'm assuming that's finished. So we'll create a new shot in CaliPeg. Hit the plus icon in the top corner. I think 1080p is okay. 24 FPS is what I always use and the length of the shot is four seconds. So we can hit create. Then we just double tap and here we are. Not that, double tap the canvas and we are in. So this is what CaliPeg looks like, obviously. Because it's on an Android device, you can navigate with your fingers quick and easy. So I have magnetic uh, canvas rotation put on, so if we flip the orientation to portrait mode, 45 degrees, or back to standard rotation, um, it'll automatically snap for us. The way we do that is we go to the settings tab, check magnetic rotation. We can also change the background color of CaliPeg. I think I'm gonna do put, put this to a nice gray. I don't know, I just like gray. So go ahead and draw on the canvas with your stylus. Um, you can also enable drawing with your finger if you don't have a stylus. I believe you go to canvas. Let's see, allow finger drawing. So I can do that as well. Uh, I think that'll, okay, so you can zoom and you can draw with your finger, which is really nice. So I have my eraser here. I just selected it from the toolbar. You can do different kinds of erasers. Oh, so I guess all the brushes, the brushes apply for erasers and um, the pencil tool, which is nice. Right over here, you have your opacity slider. So you can erase with half the strength. Um, set that to 100. Now you have the size right up here. Very intuitive controls, very easy to use. Down here, I'm gonna click and drag this up because this is our timeline. The most important feature of any animation software. You can also tap the screen with two fingers to undo as well. Very nice and quick. So let's stop wasting time and start animating. Never done a swimming animation, but so far it seems pretty simple. I'm just gonna start with my first E frame, which is also an extreme. I'm just gonna start with that stretch pose, I believe. It looks like the extremes in this animation are pretty much synonymous with the keyframes. So we're gonna start there, and we're gonna use CaliPeg's tools all the way. So I accidentally created a frame on frame 18. I don't want that. Okay, so double tap it and then just drag it over. I want it to start on zero. There we go. So um, I guess if you go to a frame, you automatically draw. You start drawing. It's gonna automatically create a frame for you. That's pretty standard. I have the brush selected, I'm on pencil. So now I wanna edit the size of these hands just to make them a bit more proportionate. Uh, let's go to the select tool. I'm gonna to go to, let's see, lasso. That'll be nice. Um, now how do I, okay, move tool. Oh, snap. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be happening. Okay, now this, perfect. That's all we wanted. Okay, next frame, next pose, they're gonna go for the compression pose. Really don't want onion skin on, so I'm just gonna click this to turn it off. I'll just flip back and forth if I need to. And so we got kind of a basic swimming motion, but the one thing that's missing is the kick. You need the kick and feet that give the body that forward thrust like a propeller. So to insert a frame in between my two drawings, just double tap one, drag it over. Very easy. Then I just tap here and I'll just start drawing and then it automatically, you know, I guess I can put the onion skin on for this just to get a brief look, but it really is better if you just flip between them. So the head rising happens pretty late. Oh, actually, let's see. The head's actually lower during that breakdown frame. Do you see that? Oh yeah, that, that's super, that's super important. Super important, you see that? So as you flip through this, head's going lower into that breakdown point, just very slightly, right? Lower and more forward, more extended, and then comes up suddenly for the for the compression. Really, really important. I'm so glad um, I caught that. Because we're really trying to exaggerate this, right? 
So really trying to make sure that this looks, um, oh, I'm trying to get the hang of Cali Peg. Nice, coming together, seems like, okay. Now, I just wanna make sure I get all the extremes in. And so this compression leads to another um, pose like this, another stretch where he's cutting through that water. Now let's see um, how many leg kicks we have. One, two, three, see. One, two, how many times? One, two, push, duh. Push, one, two, and push one two okay looks like two which is pretty easy all right let's get the pose where their the arms are almost stretched toward the back kind of the biggest movement Oh, it's gonna wreck the whole flow. I hate this. Yeah, but it's more accurate. I wanna keep that nice silhouette as though the legs acting as propeller. There we go. You know for a fact from animating runs that this will likely be the furthest back this uh, stretch into action this will likely be the most fur the furthest back pose so I can push that back just to really exaggerate it all right cool so I think I got a pretty good rough animation going but it needs to be spaced out a little more because uh, now we're entering into the timing phase. So let me click this button again, or I'm not really sure how to magnify that. Okay, nice. Okay, so that zooms in on the timeline like I wanted. Now I'm just gonna mess around. I don't know if there's an instant way to space out these frames. I guess as we start to use CaliPeg, those things will become more obvious. But for now, I'm just gonna do it manually. Uh, give these maybe fours sound good. Or can I do multiple at a time? Oh, nice, cool. All right, so uh, and then so one, two, three, and then four, and then two, three, four, and two, three, and then one, two, three. So how about that? Okay. Okay, no, never mind. I want to increase the hold on these frames, so I want that their exposure to be four frames. But it looks like right now uh, the frames are only appearing for one frame each, but they're spaced out by fours. So let me double tap this and then click the drag arrow to increase the exposure for each frame. Yeah, the drag, the arrow you can click and drag right on the right. Just want that to hold that for four. Then I believe this is the oh, see, so you have in and out. So I'm going to set this last one as my Double tap above uh, the keyframe, then hit out. Cool. That'll set my loop point. Let's see. Oh, it's because I have this selected. There we go. Deselect that pause and then hit play. 
Okay, not bad. I think it definitely needs to be slower because, um, let me see if I can just push the frames. Okay, good, yeah. So I'm gonna set these for six and they can push other frames out of the way so you don't really have to um, um, space them out first and then make the exposure. Let's see, another one here and then right here. Set the double tap out. Looks a little better, yeah. Interesting, I've never done a swimming animation before, uh, but really, really nice tools here in CaliPeg. So let's make a new layer, add here, and, oh, okay, so you can add video. Let's see, add a new video. Oh, you can add videos, that's crazy. So how do I add a video? Um, import, okay, select and, yeah, so select that. Okay, we got booted to the home screen. Didn't really work that import, let me try it one more time. So for now it doesn't work, but um, because remember this is still in beta. Let's add another layer and then, oh, you can even add audio. Wait, what if we added a water waiting sound? Oh, hold on one second. Here we go, here we go. I know I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna make my cleanup layer in a second. It's just that I get, I get so distracted. Okay, I guess I gotta, okay, let's see. Let's get a swimming sound, swimming. I like that one the most. Download. So this is from Blast Wave Effects, so I gotta remember that. Now let's add a new layer, add a sound this time. So it looks like the imports really aren't working too well in this beta version of CaliPeg. I'll report this bug to CaliPeg's uh, team, but once this is working, oh, can you just dream a little? Let's add our cleanup layer. Finally, <laughs> got really distracted. So I'm going to reduce the opacity here by just clicking and dragging downwards on this opacity slider on the layer below. That's our first layer. And we can name these. You always want to name your layers and it's easy to do on mobile. You don't need an extra keyboard. Clean up, check, boom, done. Now we're on with the cleanup layer selected. We can start, you know, making our character. Special thanks to CaliPeg for sponsoring this video. We had fun making animations on Android, a portable, convenient, and yet powerful way to animate. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.